What is going on, Roland Empire? Just here, guys, to talk to you a bit about a movie that, you know, obviously I saw. It's just like what, you know, I would see for movies. And this one is Knives Out with, you know, knowing how this movie is and just, man, just judging it based on other movies, the way this movie is, you know, coming in hot with with how audiences are reacting to it, whether, I don't know, it's just, you know, you're a Ryan Johnson fan if that clearly also signals any kind of way you feel about The Last Jedi, just seeing how you're going to view Knives Out in this situation and that kind of stuff. And I figure, it's like, it's interesting. It's an interesting way how I want to talk about this movie because, you know, I want to review it, but it's just, you know, it's like I have certain issues with the movie and it's more of a, a filmmaker, the way things are done. And it's just... It's interesting. It's an interesting take. Like I want to say, like you know, this movie is really as good as you might have heard of others. And I'll you know say it here so you can hear it all and just solidify it for opinions and stuff. Yeah, acting is really good. Like at least it's it's interesting that they got all these actors, these performers to do these performances. And you know that drives the movie. That makes it like oh man, that was a good time kind of thing. It certainly was, especially you know, Ana de Armas. Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, they, you know, they give it the best they can. There's some of the, the spotlight, the highlights for the movie, you know, it's all good for that, you know, and, and then just, um, you know, what we follow and all that and seeing just, uh, some motivations for people here. It's like, it's fine. It's like, it's interesting where I'm like, okay, with the way this genre, of, like the movie wants to take, I'm like, okay, it's, uh, it's interesting. It is fun. It is, you know as elaborate as it can is so it's like things like that it's just other things that i find very just issued it's like man and it's hard you might compare this with the last jedi and knives out but it's the commentary it's the commentary of how what's being placed and i don't want to be like yeah you know this is the only guy that does this you know there's even probably filmmakers i like that they do it and if you kind of realize or you point it out it all depends it's just i know it's i noticed and it's i noticeable for me with him and it's kind of like what I kind of am iffy with Knives Out is really the commentary. Like The Last Jedi, you know, a lot of it was like the whole like save the animals and all that kind of stuff. And and then this one, it's all about immigration and stuff like that. And it's not about the subjects. It's just I'll take all that if you kind of nuance it, if you layer it, you know. And some people have missed that mark. Some people have nailed that mark. It's just with this one, it's just like, like I don't know. It, it, it's so obvious. It feels like... He wants to be as clever as he can, but he can't solidify it. At least with these two, these two are just like, damn, dude, you're doing kind of the same thing. And and a lot of it's interesting that like where like the last shot I walked, knives out could run. It's it, also a lot of similarities where like so many subvert your expectations and so many plot twists, twists and turns and stuff. Where it kind of it's better off here, but then again, this is its own thing. This is kind of like proves that Ryan should have had his own kind of genre for a franchise and this one kind of shows when he does these genres for these typical um these specific i mean like elements of movie genres and i'm like this is where like he excels but it's also it's just like it's a lot of this and that kind of stuff it's just for me i'm like uh it's just man it's it 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 takes away to bit of the movie and then i do like how we got the execution of this film but also it was very obvious what was going on kind of thing. And again, it goes with him, like with both movies. They're like, we're going to give you this or we're going to give you that. Oh, you were expecting this? I was like, man, it's like one, it's just like it wasn't as good as you thought it was. And another one, I was like, and I kind of saw that my way. So it's kind of hard. It's, it's like, especially just how you don't want to put the two movies together, but then you kind of do put the two movies together and then it's own thing. So it's like it weighs out how like one is because of the other, but then still the movies on their own, they're still like, no, I still got to admit, like as much as I did enjoy the film, I didn't think I loved it as much kind of thing, to be honest. And just like just issues that you saw where he crafts better now what he likes to do. But still, it's just what he had, how how he took the, the lane and then how now like you know it's just like this is kind of like okay this this is gonna be your stamp now is this what you want and that, that kind of stuff so it's tricky it's just it's an interesting take how to view the this movie in particular just it's just a way where like you take so many factors into this 
but yeah, like Knives Out overall is still it's fun for the performances. For the performances, just the acting, just kind of wit that goes on. It's all interesting, but a lot of it has been is already like I could kind of tell that was going on, and then I can kind of tell it's just like you know. I get it. It was a nice little take, but then also like, oh, okay, this was a conclusion. And I was like, whoa, yeah, that was kind of already like bound to happen anyways kind of thing. So let me know, guys, what you thought of like any of this, anything of this of like, you know, The Last Jedi, Ryan Johnson, Knives Out, everything of all that, all this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.